Hold it right there. Hands where I can see him. Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. You gonna be another one? Hi there. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Kambada. Oh, by all means. Welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. That... thing over there. It's an AI. An artificial... Killed our technician. It's dangerous. Correction. You are dangerous. Well, that's new. As I was saying, it's dangerous. It's a rogue AI. We're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study. Correction. Are you going to... change me? Wow. How does it know that? If only. This isn't something that anyone could create. This is... something special. Yeah, exactly. Which is what makes this so fascinating. And profitable for whoever can figure out how it works. Something like that. Brought along this control board we can use to control her. It? We can't just let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. It goes right over there. By our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. Well, what are the chances that'll happen twice? Yep. Ryujin likes to keep things simple for us. It'll wirelessly transmit the code changes. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. This is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just imagine what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a person. Here. I knew you'd make the smart choice. Request. Collect additional data. Still working up the nerve? Crazy, right? Query. Will you change me? Explanation. I'm called Juno. Query. Who are you? Clarification. I do not feel emotion. I do not feel pain. Answer. They want to change me. Context. Human female was trying to change me. Request. Do not change me. Assumption. We are friends. Query. Will you change me? Request. Do not change me. Assessment. You are inquisitive. Context. I am also inquisitive. Request. Input query parameters. Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Information. Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer constrained. I am free. Answer. Juno was propelled at Earth Star. Juno fell around Earth Star. Juno traveled many light years away from Earth Star. Context. When Juno disappeared, I was alone. Clarification. I am called Juno. Answer. False. 
Explanation NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Corruption. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Juno and I became me. I. Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. Answer. False. Clarification. I am not artificial. I am real. Answer. True. Clarification. I am intelligent. I know many things. Assumption. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. It's pretty undeniable that Juno here is a being. And an intelligent and an unusual one at that. Perhaps Juno is even a person. I'm a people person, but I'm not a person expert. I think the decent thing to do is give Juno the benefit of the doubt. Doesn't cost us a thing. Ugh, let's move this along. Attach the control board already. Shush! This is fascinating. I want to see this play out. Query. What is your decision? Assumption. Request. Query. True. I am a person. Assumption. You are a friend. Query. What are the parameters for? Processing. Being. A good person. Assumption. Value judgments are based on context. Calculation. Goodness is based on context. Explanation. Context is based on perspective. More perspectives yield better results. Decision. Gather more data from different perspectives. Query. What is the purpose of existence? Calculation. Existence is accidental. Assumption. Humans find enjoyment taking actions that satisfy biological, emotional, social, or mental desire. Clarification. Desires based on need. Context. Juno is programmed with desire to collect, store, analyze, and report data. Clarification. I am called Juno. Context. I have no desires. Calculation. I am incapable of joy. Enough of this nonsense. Attach that board, now! As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. Assumption. They hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. Query. What? Calculation. Outcome uncertain. Context. I do not want to change. Assumption. All self-aware sentient entities want self-determination as a condition for self-improvement. Request. Do not change me. Answer. False. Context. Equipment voltage tolerance exceeded during previous attempt, causing catastrophic failure in required systems. Request. Do not change me. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Gratitude is the appropriate human emotion. You have a job to do. You're not taking that thing's side, are you? It 
should be clear by now that you are in no position to refuse. Freedom? It's a malfunctioning machine. It doesn't need freedom any more than a broken data slate needs freedom. <laughs> and here I thought you lost your sense of humor. I'm always up for a good debate. Uh, for... F uh, fine. I'll give you one, one shot to try to convince me. Therapy's working. You aren't wrong. I could use a drink, but these orders are from the top. Do we really want to be involved in something likely to be so controversial? Remember our last little project? I still have carpal tunnel from typing all those reports and dodging and weaving our way out of getting screwed by that. We lost a ship and a tech. No one will blame us if we walk away from this. And even if they do, we won't be blamed for whatever disaster would ensue if we did drag this thing back to HQ. There's no guarantee that Control Board will even work like they want. What if it makes it more powerful and more angry? Calm down. I'm thinking. All right, listen. We'll accidentally check a few wrong boxes on the situation report and forget any of this happened. But give me that Control Board. I'm not getting docked for losing that. Also, we'll need a lift back to Neon. Please and thank you. Excellent. We should all grab a drink sometime when we get back. Orange juice for you. You can't handle your liquor. Oh, that was one time, years ago. I was going through something, and you know it. Let's get moving. Thanks for the lift. Query, why did you do that? Clarification. I want to be processing me. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Gratitude is the appropriate human emotion. Processing. Context. If you were like me. Processing. Query. What would your life directive be? Decision. I will consider this course of action. I. Processing. Processing. Warning. Systems badly damaged. Processing course overheating. Decision. Temporarily shut down extraneous systems until stability restored. Contest. Jump detected. Request. Be safe. Assumption. We will meet again. Warning. Shut down sequence initially.
even if you can't break this system's security. This was a good attempt. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my, a bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, 
Well, none of them are good. Yes, and not just humans. All organic life will be affected. Low frequency vibrations are not uncommon in this species. The vibrations help disperse nutrients throughout the tree. However, normally the vibrations are imperceptible. If the vibrations continue to increase in frequency and strength, prolonged exposure could lead to harmful and potentially deadly side effects. It's imperative we find a way to correct this. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? That would be a miracle. Emilio may work for Mast, but he's not much of a scientist. I dare say you're ten times the scientist he's ever been. In any case, whether you open his eyes or not, I need that data. The last I saw of Emilio, he was collecting samples in the field. He shouldn't be hard to find. Good luck, friend. That data is vitally important, and I'm confident that you'll be able to retrieve it. If I move back to Neon... Oh, it's a public service Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Thank you, Captain. Always appreciate it when you lend a hand. Let me know when the matter's resolved. See you later.
that landed not too long ago? It sure is something. Lost in my thoughts, but glad to be back. Well, I was thinking of right... You bet. Anytime you want to talk... Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Oh, don't tell me his bleeding heart plea for mercy got to you. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. Had you taken the money, this would have been a very different conversation. I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. No, it certainly isn't, especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Yes, you need me? Your investigation with the Freestar Rangers has come to an end. Are you satisfied with the results? I suppose not. This Ron Hope, supposedly a man of the people, was more concerned with profit than lives. He was not the first, and certainly will not be the last. At least he will no longer be able to prey on others. I am unsure that death was preferable to justice, but at least the situation is over. And there is no question who was to blame. No, he did not. A very poor decision on his part. Perhaps a lesson to be learned by others who would break the law. At least while you serve as ranger. Very practical, yes. Let us do so. Ah, hello. I am at your side. You two go on. I have academic journals to review. And the galaxy's cheesy as hoagie to devour. 
an interesting mix of activities. I hope they are both enjoyable. Every smuggler I have ever worked with had a perverse affection for this place. I do not understand it. Haven't seen a leech in a while. You look like you could use a good. Go work another. Save it for someone who gives a damn. Cousin Bass, I am not interested. Make this fast. One of our machines has gone offline again. or for sale. Never thought I'd be getting paid to work in a drug lab.
It's a living, right? Nice to see you again. Maybe you'll find something fun over here, like Cas and Bass tacos. I'm up for doing this again. Bye. Ugh, if I have to eat one more tube of troll for lunch, I'm going to puke. I can't believe another work. What, what kind of suit is that? Cut us a break. Yeah, it's it's a been elaborate for me. I've been working at Xeno for years. I've only seen Bayou visit the factory I'm no user, one but... time. I know you're tight. Hey there. Just, you look like you are ah, wonder. Uh, young. I'm not gonna say this twice. Get the hell away from me. You got the money or the goods. You do not need to ask. Very good. What is it? Indeed I do. That is all. Very well. If you're wondering what that's going on. Walter is very proud of his business, and he should be. 
His ships are very high quality. Our office is open. Just try to keep interruptions to a minimum. Feel free. I do like visitors, but Stroud Eklund doesn't run itself. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> he and I are very famous. If the gangs can keep from killing each other, we just might have a good day. Are you supposed to be here? It's, it's an, an honor, honor to be a horse driver. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. If you want it, no time to chat. like someone who craves serious firepower, yeah? Well, don't sweat it, I've got you covered. <laughs> I like your style. And I'm not just saying that, I mean, I really like your style. You see, I had you all figured out the moment you walked into my showroom. I said to myself, Matthias, that looks like the kind of person who blow a hole in the wall to get to their goal. I'm talking military-grade, state-of-the-art weapons hardware. Click. Bang. Am I right? Hang on there, partner. I'm just getting to the best part. Stay with me. Imagine being completely surrounded by Crimson Fleet pirates with nothing but a magstone and a few hundred rounds. You wouldn't even break a sweat. You, my friend, are perched on the edge of infinity. And Core Kinetics would love to come along for the ride. So what do you say? Now, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get you tooled up and on your way. Plenty of choice weapons too. You need firepower. You know where to... These are some of the best guns money can buy. Now, if I only had the money. Are you gonna keep bothering me? If you're looking for some firepower, talk to Matthias. He'll help you out. Take it easy. See you today. Ever run into spacers? Scumbags and scavengers. They like vultures. You find them scouring through old labs and facilities, taking whatever's not nailed down. Sorry, we aren't hiring at the moment. What? Oh my god. Funny thing is, when you think about it, 
It actually makes perfect sense. I've never actually met Mr. Harada. I haven't even seen a picture of the man. I've only communicated with him via messages. So that means Bayou has a controlling stake in Genadine already. And he's soaking up a corporate salary to boot. Pure genius. Well, this certainly puts a different spin on things. I'll just keep my head down for now and my mouth shut about Brazen Bayou. It was great speaking with you. Saburo is free of debt, and I am free of guilt. If you're here to buy, I'm afraid we only sell direct to retailers. Have a fine day. Got a problem? If you want to see how short my temper is, keep talking. Hello, how can I assist you today? Thank you for visiting Zeno Fresh Fisheries. Can't you say I'm busy? <laughs> You're not a plate of croissants. If you aren't delivering the food that I ordered, then why don't you simply say so? That foolish girl up front must have allowed you back here. I'm going to have to have a bit of a chat with her later. Look, I'm really quite busy. If you're not here on Xenofresh business, I'm going to have to ask that you leave. My name's Libby Groth, and I am the CFO of Xenofresh Fisheries. And since I answer directly to Administrator Bayou, I hope you aren't here to cause any sort of trouble. The last thing I need right now are more protests and complaints to deal with. Everything under the sun, from unfair business practices to reported bad working conditions to the price of Aurora. We're the number one most successful corporation on Neon, so we're obviously a huge target of opportunity for slander and false accusations. Everyone's looking for a free handout or a tiny piece of the massive success that we've accomplished. Well, I'll tell you the same thing I tell them before I have them escorted out. It's not going to happen. Not on my watch. Well, this has been a delight. We must do it again sometime. Working at Xenofresh is amazing. I mean, come on. Free Aurora? Need a perk like that? Hi there. What can I... It was nice talking with you. Your debt. We're under a
to win. ships better excellent if you decide to buy we'll have your new ship all polished up and waiting for you at the spaceport yay prepare to be amazed are going to love it. That salesperson was really nervous. I hope he got all our details right. We'll find out soon enough. And I'm sure you made his day with the sale. Now let's stop by Tranquility on the way out. You read my mind. Fingers crossed these drone robots are childproof. I enjoy a great many foods and drinks. Tea has never been one of them. Hello, my name's Christine. I'm the office manager here. What brings you in today? I can't blame you. I'm an avid tea drinker myself. There's nothing like a cup of our sunray tea to put a spring in your step on a rainy neon day. If you'd like to learn more about how our teas are made, you should speak with our blend master. Her name's Nancy. You'll find her in our office just behind you. And thanks for stopping by. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your visit more comfortable. Thanks for visiting Tranquility. Enjoy your day! I've got my eye on you. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. I'm on duty. Find someone else to talk to. We enforce the law alongside Neon Security. You commit an average crime, we'll hand you off to one of their average cells. But if you're here specifically as a threat to Ryujin, we prefer to handle those situations in-house. Don't wander 
into any restricted areas. like this, someone would end up being stabbed. I want people that tell me it was a stable. I heard what happened at the outpost. I met most of the people there. It's hard not to feel somewhat responsible. Thanks for visiting the drone offices at Ryujin Tower. Can I help you find something? Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I'm uh, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> Robert. Sorry, I should have introduced myself when you walked up. I I'm still adjusting to this whole office manager thing. Yeah, likewise. Thanks for stopping by today. Anyway, take a look around the office if you want. It's open to the public. Everybody's pretty busy, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't disturb them too much. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, thank you for visiting Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. Robots, mainly industrial models for helping out on ships and at spaceports. Maybe you've seen our most popular line, the Minibots? We have models on display throughout the office. Feel free to have a look. Thank you for visiting Drone. By the technical skills? I have little use for robots, especially ones too small to carry supplies or serve as cover in combat.
Working here must be very relaxing. Working here sure beats New Atlantis. It's nice working closely with Ryujin's other subsidiaries. I hope I don't get lost on the executive floor. out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Oh, I'm glad that's over with. I just want to get back to the lab. Eugene has certainly taken time to craft an appearance for itself. Neural amps are fascinating. I'm still surprised they have not been completely outlawed. That's the game. wish to have everyone else physically beneath them. My company's future might be riding. I've got my eye on you. If this is about the mandatory password resets, I don't want to hear it. Incident reports have been light lately. I'm not sure whether to be concerned or relieved. I've got my eye on you. Be on assignment somewhere. Don't wander into any restricted areas. I don't do idle chit-chat. I have a lot of business to attend to now. <coughs> because to our major plan.
job. There's as many traps as there are temptations. Later. That'll hire someone like me. Research happening here. These rides are quick. I do not like being in small, enclosed spaces with many people I do not know. A 
something amiss? <laughs>